to the channel. As you may have noticed, didn't post for a bit. Who am I kidding? We didn't. So let's jump into it. Um, as you can see, here we have a lot of failed attempts to render out this uh, certain video, and I'm going to show you how to deal with them. Now, first of all, what causes it? Uh, I figured out or found out through experiments that fusion, fusion clips that have opacity or this example we have this onto paper in a notebook, hello boy, whatever you use to organize. Uh, and I might have a spelling mistake there. I'll check. Uh, anywho, but what I wanted to get at is how do you deal with rendering just failing for no reason in DaVinci Resolve 16. Copying and pasting everything to a new timeline won't work uh, for this kind of problem, at least for my version. Some of you will be fine doing just that, or opening a new project and then duplicating it, kind of copying uh, everything, opening up the new project, and then pasting everything will work for you, maybe. So both of those didn't work for me. Uh, now what I need to do is go to Preferences and change some settings. So I'm going to put some instructions right on the screen. Now, um, and I'm going to walk you through it, okay? So we go to Preferences in DaVinci. Let's find them. So DaVinci Resolved and Preferences. So there's a shortcut, Control, Comma. Uh, when we get here, we're going to go to User, right up here. Click on that, UI settings, and then stop renders when a frame or clip when a frame or a clip cannot be processed. So we're just gonna eliminate the possibility of renders just stopping. Now we're gonna go and save this. Then we're gonna go to the deliver tab. And as you can see, I have failed a lot of these renders. So we're just gonna go to deliver tab, then render settings. I have to go to advanced settings. So advanced settings, use optimized media. I don't know what this does, not sure. I'm pretty sure that the last option just cancels out, but I'm gonna go for YouTube. And we're gonna add it to the render queue and start it right away. So let's see if this is gonna be rendered. Now the clip will fail usually on this point. And since we removed the the setting that fails the clip, we'll, we're going to see what happens right now. So as you can see, uh, the frames that were failing, maybe there was one frame or more, uh, they were just skipped, I guess. We'll see the end product once the video is rendered. Here we are. We have the video complete. Now I'm just going to go and scrub through the video so that I make sure that everything is rendered out like correctly. And that should be it. That's the way to fix it. So we have two steps. I'm going to highlight them and make them as visible as possible. The video was perfect. Didn't have any mistakes. Um, at least from my perspective, I mean, rendering didn't have any uh, mistakes. And that's it. Problem solved. See you in the next one. Peace.